Hello everybody, Flash Rabbit here again and today we're going to talk about the ender chest. What is the ender chest? What can you use an ender chest for and how do you craft it? Well, there it is behind me, the ender chest, uh, and it's this little number here. Uh, it's made with an eye of ender and obsidian. You go into your crafting table, you take your eye of ender and your obsidian and you surround the eye of ender with obsidian and that will give you your ender chest, just like that. To craft an eye of ender, you just need an ender pearl and a piece of blaze powder, and that will give you your eye of ender so that you can then craft your ender chest. Now, an ender chest is the same wherever you leave it in the world. If I put my stuff in here, like this, and I go off into my world, and I've left an ender chest elsewhere, I open it, the same equipment will be inside and that applies wherever I go. If I go over to this side of the world, I place my ender chest, we've got the same equipment inside. So it's a way to access the same equipment in many different locations. Uh, so you could keep your spare armor perhaps or your spare potions, weapons, tools, whatever you like, shulker boxes. And the beauty of this is, if you do have shulker boxes, you can put one shulker box in each of these 27 slots here, uh, which means you're effectively carrying 27 double chests worth of equipment around with you wherever you go. So it's rather handy to have. Now a few facts about the ender chest, it is stackable, you can stack it in 64s. Uh, you need a diamond pickaxe to mine it. If you break your ender chest with a pickaxe that doesn't have the silk touch enchantment you'll simply get eight pieces of obsidian back so you need to mine it with a silk touch pickaxe for it to drop the ender chest it's a mistake I've made several times and it's heartbreaking if you're out in the world and you break your ender chest so always make sure that you mine it with a silk touch pickaxe it has a high blast resistance of 600 uh, and it does put out a light level. Um, you'll see now maybe as it gets a little bit darker that it gives out a slight light level, a light level of 7. Uh, now it's not flammable and it doesn't catch fire from lava either. If you break the ender chest with any other pickaxe other than a diamond pickaxe, it will drop nothing. It'll not only take a long time to break, but you'll also get nothing back for your trouble, so it's not worth trying. And for now, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the episode, please press the like button. And if you've really enjoyed it, consider subscribing because it really does help the channel out loads. And if you don't want to miss any of my uploads in the future, press the bell icon and I'll be sure to let you know the next time I upload a video. But for now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye.